NASA's Curiosity rover is up on Mars and snapping a picture of what looks like a rat on the red planet. Surely you see it in this photo, right? Could it be? Well, we'll get you the evidence here in a second. Derek Pitts is the chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute Planetarium. Derek, I don't know what you think about this possibility, but uh, the folks at UFO Sightings Daily apparently are the ones who brought it to planetary attention. Here's that wide shot again, and if you look in the way over to the left there, you see that square box. We've blown it up, and inside the red circle, there is the squirrel, the rat on Mars. Hmm. What do you think, Derek? Well, my thought, John, is that it looked more like a gopher than anything else. <laughs> so uh, you're, you're such a it skeptic. depends what camp you're from. <laughs> Just a little bit, because I can't recall that there's very much food on Mars for any of those creatures to eat anyway. <laughs> We've helpfully uh, <laughs> built a little side-by-side -side here for our viewers to get a look at what we're talking about. That thing in the middle of two, two rocks on Mars, some are saying it's a squirrel. And in fact, there's actually a conspiracy theory argument going on on UFO sightings daily among people who think that the, the rover Curiosity took a squirrel up there on Mars and released it just to see how it would handle the Martian environment. Derek, that didn't happen, did it? Uh, no, PETA would be all over that, first of all. And then the other problem, of course, is that NASA didn't really have room on the craft for such a creature to make a trip anyway. It's a long, arduous journey. The environment on Mars would not support that form of life anyhow under any conditions. So there's no way there could be anything like that on Mars. And to be serious, NASA takes great pains to sanitize and sterilize everything. I mean, they don't want to go, you know, releasing rodents on another planet. That's a very good point, John. We went to great effort to make sure that we weren't carrying any microbes to contaminate the planet in any way. Yeah. After all, if the mission of the rover is to try to figure out whether or not there were environments conducive to life, it wouldn't do any good for us to sort of precede the situation with Earth organisms anyway. I'd like to send some of the squirrels in my yard to Mars, but uh, that didn't happen. Derek Pitts, good to, <laughs> good to have you on again. Thank you.